Magic and Magic. Howdy everyone, my name is Alex Lee and today's topic was suggested from one of our subscribers. The only thing that I have to say is thank you for your support. Now this topic is really interesting because even if both cards look really similar, in rules they are quite different. Let me start with the shadows. It's a vanilla 1313 for one mana and that's huge, but it has a one drawback that obtains minus x minus x equals to your life total. However, this ability only applies when the, the shadows is in the battlefield meaning that if it's in any other zone of the game, for example the Gregor, it's a 13-13. Now let's compare it with the Scourge of the Skyclave. As you can see, there's no power and toughness, and this is for this rule, because it's a characteristic defining ability, or CDA for short. In a nutshell, this rule states that all the values of the card, including the power and toughness, are determined by the card itself. In this case, this courage of the Skyclave, power and toughness is equal to 20 minus the highest life total among all players. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind for this type of card is because it's a CDA, that means that it keeps checking no matter the zone where it is. For example, if it's in the graveyard, the power and toughness is going to change depending on the requirement. Why is it that it's good to know the difference between these two cards? Well, let me give you an example. If you're playing a commander game and you're starting, all players have 40 lives and you have Netroid as your commander. Now, if there's one Dead Shadows in your graveyard and you try to mutate another creature, now you won't be able to return Dead Shadows because it's a 13-13 and doesn't comply with the requirements of Netroid. Now, if we have a scourge of the Skyclave in the graveyard instead of Dead Shadows, remember that the CTA will be checking every step of the process. That means that in the graveyard, a scourge will be checking the power and toughness, and then that time is going to be a minus 20, minus 20. Meaning that with the ability of Netroid, you will be able to resurrect a total amount of creatures that the total power value will be 30 because it will be minus 20 plus the 10 that it requires the ability. If you want to know more information about CDA or get a better handle of it, let me know in the comments below and I'll be doing another video taking a deeper approach in this subject. For the second part of today's topic is really interesting because a lot of people have the same thought regarding this topic. And we're going to take a deep dive into the rules, so specifically this rule. Now, in a nutshell, it states that only creatures, planeswalkers, and players are able to receive damage. Meaning that the only way that you can lightning bolt one enchantment, it would be only if the enchantment shares a card type, such as creature. But if this is not the case, then you won't be able to target a lightning bolt or deal damage to an enchantment if not, it's not a creature. Now, I hope this information was helpful and thank you very much for your time. Now, if you have any other questions, doubts, or how to manage any rule interactions in this game, let me know in the comments below, and I will be picking up for the next video. Now, before I go, let me tell you that I'm still doing a giveaway due to the anniversary of my channel, so if you want to participate, please go to this video. Now, the giveaway is going to be only active until August the 5th. In that day, I will be picking one lucky winner that will be receiving one of the cards of the giveaway. Now, the only thing that remains to say is that thank you for your time, and I hope to see you in the next time. Bye. These shows and episodes like this are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you would like to support our channel, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit the notification icon so you don't miss any of our content.